Awesome. Thank you, Maggie. And everybody, thank you so much for joining. I think we've had, I was just talking to Maggie before we came on, it looks like we had just over 1,300 people register for the webinar. So super excited to be here with all of you guys. I'm going to try something a little different this time. And I see a bunch more people are actually chatting in. So awesome to see you guys chatting in. Make sure you take advantage of that questions box that Maggie's referring to. Just because I want to make the webinars as tailored as possible. I know we have a ton of people on the line, but I want to make them as tailored as possible to you and where you're at, making sure that I'm answering your questions. What I'm going to try that's a little different is I'm going to actually put myself on webcam here, see if you guys can actually see me on my webcam. I hope it pops up here and hope it starts working. So hopefully you guys start seeing me in this red shirt here. I even had them decorate the office a little bit for the holidays, so some of you might not like that because you're thinking, gosh, Luke, it's September. I don't want to think about Christmas. I don't want to think about Thanksgiving, all these different holidays coming up. But I really want you guys in this webinar to focus in on how this is such a critical season for business owners. This is such an opportunity for us to really, when a lot of business owners pull back during the holidays, this is a time where you can actually dig deep and there's such an opportunity for referrals. And there's some numbers that I want to show you that show how much you know people are traveling, how many times people are getting together. But there's an opportunity to get referrals over the holidays. This is one of our most popular issues. And this is recorded, like Maggie said. I talk really fast. You guys can see me. I'm in my King of Prussia office here. I usually stand up, to give you guys an idea. I usually stand up during these webinars. And my team, they laugh at me because I pace back and forth, forth. I talk with my hands, as you you can tell you know I have my monster energy drink here and I actually tore my ACL so I tore my ACL and I had ACL surgery about two weeks ago so I am confined to this chair so this is gonna be really interesting for me because I'm usually a high energy person I'm all over the place but I want to stay live on this webinar for you and just really so you guys can see my passion behind this just to introduce myself for everybody who doesn't know who I am my name's Luke Acri I'm the president of reminder media and you know, we've been at this for years now. We have a bunch of clients on the line, but we also have people who've never maybe heard about Reminder Media before. And I'll share with you that you know, my passion and the heart and what's behind Reminder Media is really this mission that you see on the screen. We are relationship marketing, we're relationship marketers. We want to empower you to close more deals and retain more business. That is at the heart of what we do. In fact, I just came from a new hire lunch. So we have a bunch of new hires that just started at Reminder Media. And one of the things I shared with them is I said, look, we produce an incredible magazine. We produce an incredible digital edition, but this is not about a magazine. In fact, if water bottles become the secret, to helping real estate agents, insurance agents, financial advisors connect with their clients in a relationship level that ultimately drives referrals and repeat business, ultimately drives closing more deals, we're gonna figure out how to package the very best water bottles and start offering that to our real estate agents. The reason why I share that with you is because I want you to know what we've been about for the last 16 years is helping you with what I think is the most critical thing in every business. It is a relationship-based business that you're in. Technically, if you're in real estate, you might be selling homes. You might be helping people buy homes. But truly to be successful in the business, and what I've seen, and the more top producers I get an interview on my podcast that I do weekly, it always comes back to the centralized theme that you're in a relationship-based business. How do you get the people in your community to know you, to like you, and to trust you? And when that trifecta comes together, then you have the opportunity to offer your value proposition to them to where you can help them buy a home, you can help them sell their home, you can help them invest their money. Some of the products that we offer, you guys see them on the screen. If you're not familiar with us, our flagship products, American Lifestyle Magazine. And we're going to walk through today how do you specifically use this magazine how can you set it up for the holiday issue how can you customize it how can you leverage it when it hits homes to turn that into referrals for your business and I really want to start off as we dive into the webinar I want to start off with just some numbers because like I said, so often as business owners we tend to step back during the winter months I think it's because it gets cold and we think, okay, I've done my due diligence, I'm gonna take a little bit of break, spend some time with family. This is your opportunity to dig deeper because what you do not only in the holiday months, 
you know, will help you in this current time frame and actually generate some deals for you. More importantly, when you look at your first quarter in 2020, this is going to affect substantially how well you do in 2020 in the first quarter. You play four quarters every year. How you play this fourth quarter coming up, how you interact during the holidays will substantially affect your 2020. And that's why I want to share with you, did you know that 54.3 million people will travel this Thanksgiving? 28% of Americans will have more than 12 people at their Thanksgiving table. Share with you a little bit of, about me so you guys can get to know me personally. I grew up in a family of eight kids. And so my, my, you know, I had eight kids in my family, but in my dad's brother's family, so my cousins, they had six kids. And then in my mom's family and her sister, she had eight kids. Her other sister had six kids. What am I trying to describe to you? In my family alone, there's 40, 50 people getting together at Thanksgiving. And the reason why I point that out and I want to share these numbers with you is because what tends to be the topic of conversation during holiday get togethers? It tends to be that family members talk about life events, life events like getting new jobs, having kids, you know, moving, these big life events that cause the changes in their lives that really reflect if they're going to need your service or not. Those conversations tend to happen at these Thanksgiving get togethers, at these you know, Christmas celebra celebrations, the harvest festivals, these big events cause people to talk about their life. And so it's so important that we leverage the marketing that we have to connect with people, to connect with them at a relationship level, and then be able to turn that into where we are the expert that they think of. So when my family and I get together this Thanksgiving and we start talking about my older brother Josh getting a new job or he's going to move now from where he's at, you want your name to be in my mind. How do you as a real estate agent that's watching this right now, how do you make sure you've built the mind share with Luke Acri that when he thinks real estate, he thinks you? That's what Reminder Media is all about. That's what the magazine's all about. And what we're going to walk through today is I'm going to walk you through, hopefully succinctly and quickly, I'm going to walk you through updating your mailing list. You need to be adding people to your mailing list through the holiday mailer. I want to walk you through customizing the magazine, how you can make this effective and change some of the customization options to really help you when it comes to leveraging it, which is the follow-up, which is becoming proactive in this marketing. And then last but not least, using our social media tools that are available to you that you get when you sign up for the magazine, it's included for free, utilizing those to really help enhance your marketing this holiday season because it's a really easy way to share stuff with your clients that is personal, but they'll also use at their get togethers. So with that being said, let's dive right in. Let's talk about your mailing list. Oh, actually Maggie's reminding me, see I'm getting ahead of myself already. I wanna ask you guys a, a question real quick because we wanna try to get you guys engaged. So we're trying this poll out on our webinars, but here's my question for you. How many times have you reached out after the magazine has gone out? So I want to know, go ahead and answer that real quick because I want you guys to engage and I want you guys to get used to using the polls, get used to using the questions. How many times have you reached out after the magazine has gone out? Have you done it every issue? Have you done it every other issue? Do you reach out to the clients you send it to once a year or have you never reached out? So take a second, answer that question for me so I can kind of tailor this webinar to really talking to the people, you know, because if you guys are reaching out every issue, maybe we can go a little deeper in detail where if you've never reached out, you know, I can keep it kind of where it's just the basics and how you go about reaching out. So take a second, go ahead and answer that. And let's go ahead, Maggie, if they answered a bunch, let's go ahead and show that on the screen real quick. Okay, so she's showing me real quick. I'm going to pull it up on mine so it's easier to see. So 27% of you, and are they ever able to see these responses? 27% of you guys are reaching out once a year to your clients. 47% have never reached out to somebody that has received the magazine. So that is a huge opportunity. So that actually, one, it makes me a little sad because I, it's like, oh my goodness, there's so much opportunity that we're missing. But two, it makes me happy because, guys, all of you on here that are not reaching out, this will change the game for you when you turn this into proactive. This is how you get so much more ROI than what you're seeing to date. So 
47% aren't reaching out, 14% are doing it every issue, so congrats to you guys, and 12% are doing it every other. So first, let's talk about your updating your mailing list. This is one of the biggest common mistakes our coaches see every time they're working with clients. They're seeing that basically people are uploading their list of names when they, when they sign up for the magazine, and they're never changing who they have on the list. In your database, have you ever heard the saying, I think this is from Gary Keller, have you ever heard the saying that your network, which is your database, your network of people is your net worth, meaning how well you have built your database is a direct correlation to probably how well you're doing from a net worth standpoint. And what I have found over the years, and you can look at the data from the National Association of Realtors, they actually show that the majority of business that comes for top producers, people who make $150,000 a year or more, it's almost 60% of their business comes from referrals or comes from repeat business. So I'll say that again to make sure you guys understand it. Agents who make $150,000 plus a year in this business, almost 60% of their business comes from referrals and comes from repeat business. And the reason why I'm pointing that out is because that is their ability to upkeep their database. Your database is like a living document. It's evolving. People are constantly moving. Maybe you call it your A list, your B list, your C list. And people are moving from their C list to the B list to the AB. A list, how well you do that, how well you keep track of that database will be a direct correlation to the income you make. Think about this. Put your friends and family on the list this holiday season. Some of you might be thinking what I hear all the time, which is Luke, I don't want to spend $3.99 or $3.79 on my uncle. He knows I'm a real estate agent. Or if you're, maybe you're a financial advisor watching this, he knows I'm a financial advisor. Here's the thing I will share with you. They know you as Luke, the nephew. They don't know you as Luke, the real estate agent, or take it one step deeper. They know that you're a real estate agent, but they don't know what you need to be successful in real estate. You haven't trained or conditioned them to know that Luke is not only a real estate agent, but his success, and I can help him in being a real estate agent by giving him referrals, by pointing people to him. You have to train even your friends and family. The horror stories I hear of people logging into their Facebook page and there they see one of their best friends or they see one of their relatives posting about a home that they just listed, posting about a home they just bought and you're thinking to yourself, that's my uncle. And one of the things, don't make the mistake, if your relatives live in a different state, Man, my brother, when he got into real estate, he got a lot of referral free fees by reaching out to his network of relatives and saying, hey, if you need an agent, reach out to me and I will find you the best agent in your area. And he ended up getting a referral fee off of that. But we, sent, we tend to think really short-sighted there and we think our friends and family are definitely gonna use us and we miss so much business, but more importantly than just their business, we miss their network, we miss their referrals. According to the National Association of Realtors, the average person will refer you about two times. But there's 37% of people in your database that will refer you three plus times. So they will refer you three or more times. I call those the chatty Cathy's, the influencers. You wanna find those people in your database. A lot of times your family members will be those people for you. Your friends will be those people for you because they love you. They have a natural relationship with you. They know you, they like you, they trust you. But we don't do the things for them that we're trying to do for people we don't really have a great relationship with. So add your friends and family to the list. The holiday issue is the perfect way to do it because it's so natural. And then when we get into the customization, you'll see this. Second, your clients that you sold a home to, let's have a, a centering moment right now. How many times have you reached out to the clients that you sold a home to this year since you sold them the home? When I am coaching agents, the, one of the mistakes we make naturally and not on purpose we're reaching out constantly during the buying process, sending them properties during when they're making offers, you know, gathering all the people as it's going to closing. There's so much communication. Then you sell them the home and then it goes to zero communication. And it, what happens is in the mind of the buyer, in the mind of the client, though not right away, they don't see themselves as just a transaction. 
But four months from now, when they haven't heard from you, six months from now, you're just the agent that helped them purchase a home. You're not the agent where they know what's going on in your life. They know your, your family. You know their family because you haven't kept in touch with them. Perfect opportunity to send a holiday mailer to them and use the holiday mailer. When we get into customization, we'll talk about personalizing the letter. You can personalize the letter to each person that you sold a home to and do a special thank you to them for making it a great year from you or for you. Okay, third is prospects who are looking to buy in the new year. Reason why I put this on the list is because you're up against a time crunch when you're trying to sell people and it's close to the new year, it's close to Christmas. A lot of the reasons they have urgency or incentive is because they want to be in the new home before Christmas, but if you can't find them the right home by that time, all of a sudden they have a natural objection, which is, hey, I don't want to buy right now because I'm not going to be in before Christmas, so I just want to hold off to the new year. This happened, the reason I put this on the list, this happened to my brother and I when he started out in the business, he had a bunch of hot leads, he lost them, and then naively, we made the mistake of not keeping in touch with them really, really consistently, even over the holidays. And we ended up losing some people because they were hot and they had a natural objection. And then we didn't really keep in touch with them. And then it made it so much harder to earn their business in the first quarter of the following year. So add them. It's easy. It's an impressive piece. You're not pushing marketing on them. It's more of a gift. So something very easy to do that can help you maintain those. Take local businesses and partners and this is critical when we get into the customization we'll teach you how to feature local businesses and partners in the magazine use your local partners you know you have people that you naturally do business with whether it's a financial advisor an insurance agent a mortgage professional a contractor a landscaping company a local mom and pop restaurant you have this local rolodex it's awesome if you add the owner of that business to your mailing list yet let alone feature them which is what we're going to get to but add them because it's going to help you connect to the movers and shakers in the community they have huge influence because they have a database of clients it's a natural fit last but not least perfect opportunity to hit your old forgotten leads we have a ton of leads that get generated off our facebook campaigns that we run so we have a ton of facebook campaigns that run and a lot of the people they don't pick up when we call them to send them or you know to reach out to them to say hey we know you requested a sample a lot of them never pick up or they pick up one time and then we never talk to them again but we find when we go back to our database and we then recycle and re-nurture those leads we substantially can close more it's just they weren't ready at that moment so don't make the mistake all these leads you've gotten off of zillow this year if you've used zillow the leads you've gotten off of realtor.com the leads you might have generated from the magazine that didn't buy in that moment make sure you're keeping in touch with them if you don't want to spend the magazine cost remember you have your digital edition which is the 39.99 a month but you can hit a thousand people for that so it's a natural way to use the digital edition and i'll teach you how to do it through text and you can add a video to your digital edition but add your old forgotten leads there's gold in there that you're forgetting about because they didn't buy right then and there all right so let's move on to the customization i want to feature for you or i want to show you guys some testimonials so you can see the benefit of customization and then also some of our GFK stats. So what you're seeing here on the screen, we hire a firm called GFK. They are a third party research firm that goes in, surveys the recipients of the magazine, does their research, and then comes back to us to teach us how are people responding to the magazine? What's the ROI on the magazine? So we see things like the average client shares it with 3.2 people shares each magazine with 3.2 people. The average client reads it for 44 minutes. The average recipient will keep it in their home for 44 or for four weeks. Some of the other things that have to do with the customization are what you see on the screen. 78% of the recipients actually love the culinary content in the magazine. So they love the recipes, holiday issue, Christmas recipes, natural. We want you to use the recipes in the Christmas issue and I'll teach you why it's so important because you can leverage it in your follow-up. 80% of recipients say a cover photo helps them identify a professional for future business. So if you don't have your photo on the cover right now because you don't like you know, being all the center of attention, Put your photo on the cover. 80% are saying it helps them identify you as their professional of choice. 84% of the recipients are saying they rip out the tear out cards. This is critical because if 78% love the recipes, 
84% are ripping them off. Well, guess, guys, they're ripping out the recipe card. They're sharing that recipe card with friends, especially when you think about the get-togethers. So let's go into why customization works. These are just some of the many testimonials we have. I'll just read this one from an agent in Alabama. One of my past clients gave the recipe card that's inside the magazine to a friend who was at a dinner party. The friend made a comment about the magazine and my client said, she's our realtor. And they said, oh, we are looking to sell and buy. My client said, she's your girl. And we closed on two homes. This is a financial advisor in New Jersey. One of my clients who received the magazine called and said she used one of the recipe cards for their Christmas dinner loved the tear out cards. This is the response we get constantly. Some of the other testimonials, I just actually had one of my friends, Sean Carpenter, who's a real estate coach. I don't know if he's on this webinar or not. Hope you are, Sean. But he sent me a text message the other night. He just had his first issue hit homes. He got two text messages from his clients saying, hey, you're looking great on this magazine. One of them said, my kid opened up the mailbox, got it and said, mama, it's Mr. Sean on the magazine. That's the impact we see when people send out the magazine, especially around the holiday time. It's just an impressive piece that's value driven. That's why I wanna drive this home so you guys know, spend the time to customize your magazine this holiday season. Let's start with the ads and the tear out cards. What's the question we have ne next, Maggie? We have, have you ever taken a photo with your clients after the closing of a home? So go ahead and answer this question because I wanna talk about when you're customizing the ad, have you ever taken a photo with your clients when you've closed on the home? Go ahead and take a second and answer that and we'll put the results up on the screen because if you're not doing it, start doing it at the next closings because you can utilize that in your magazine. So go ahead, do we have the answers up? Okay, 76% say yes, 24% say no. So for the you know 24%, make sure you start taking pictures at the closing. Not only can you use it on social media, but it's a natural way that you can use it in your magazine. So this is one of the Christmas covers. We actually have a couple back here. So this is actually Maggie's dog. I'll just share that you know little piece of information. What the dog's name is Vince. So Vince came in was our dog model on this. But you guys, we have tons of different cover options for your magazine. But what you can do in the magazine is you can take the back cover of the magazine and create a custom ad. We can do that for you. Something very custom to you and your clients. The back inside cover, we can create a custom ad for you. And then of course you have the two tear out cards. So if you remember, you know, I talked about like people love the recipes, right? It was like 78% love the recipes. What if you put your family's holiday recipe on here. Now this is not going to resonate with everybody, but there's some people on this webinar, you might have a family recipe. Think how cool that would be if we created a tear out card for you with a family recipe on there. And then when you're doing your follow up, it's such an easy conversation piece for you. But here's the reason why I want you to snap a picture of you and your clients at the closing, because we can create whether it's a collage of all the home sales you've done this year with your clients and a big thank you message to them, we can create a custom ad for you there. Whether you want to feature just one real big success story of how you help this client find their dream home, we can create that for you in the magazine. And if you have those pictures, you can utilize it. Or when we get to the inside front letter, what if you put a picture of you and the client in the magazine? What if you put a picture of them and you, and you don't have to do it for all clients, but maybe you sold you know, 10 homes this year and you wanna do it just for the 10 that you sold a home to. You can put that picture of you and the client in the magazine. So there's so many creative ways you can use the magazine to create some impact with the client when they receive it because we got a testimonial one time where the client featured their, or the agent featured their client in the magazine, the kid took the magazine to school and said, hey, I'm in a magazine and shared it with all the friends at school. And so it just created so much buzz in that network. And that's the power of this, because if you're a fan of Brian Buffini, Brian Buffini teaches you, when you do your pop buys, it's all about creating gratitude and buzz because that leads to reciprocity. Reciprocity is when you do something nice for people, they want to return the favor. How can they return the favor? Through a referral or obviously repeat business. Another idea I would give you for use, utilizing the ads on the back cover or the back inside cover. Imagine those partners, right, that you have, the mortgage professional, insurance, landscaper, contractor, 
heck, it's maybe a local mom and pop restaurant. What if you featured them in the magazine? What if you partnered with them? Not twofold, this is awesome. First is it's, the obvious is they could even help pay for it if you wanted to, and we can handle that for you where maybe the mortgage broker helps pay and you put them on the back cover featured here. But the best part about this is if you feature them in the magazine, guess what they're going to want? They're going to want to send it to all their clients too. So you're, you expand your reach exponentially. My brother did this with the landscaping company where he featured them in the magazine. They blasted out emails about him to their database. So you expand your reach because all of these natural partners that you have, have databases of clients. If you want to focus on the season, Think about Thanksgiving. It's the time to give back. It's the time to be thankful. What are the nonprofits in your community? So for us, we partner all the time with Phil Abundance. Phil Abundance is a food pantry, obviously, that's giving out food and, and it's helping people. Imagine if you featured your local food pantry in the magazine. Maybe you even use the tear out cards to raise awareness or raise money. It's a perfect opportunity when we get to leveraging the magazine where you have a reason to call not only to say, hey, I want to make sure you got the gift, but oh, by the way, you know, I'm trying to wait, raise awareness for Phil Abundance. You know, we're trying to give back. There's this uh, halo effect in psychology to teach you guys kind of about the psychology of this. When you associate yourself with good things, people will naturally have that association with you. It's called the halo effect. So if I'm constantly giving back to charity, constantly do, people are, people associate me with that. Now, obviously not the only reason you don't want to partner with a nonprofit is to make yourself look good, right? You want to do it because you truly want to give back and there's true value there. But there's advantages to that to where you are now reaching out to your database of clients to connect you to the community locally and to show that you're not just about business, but you're also about impact. You're also about giving back to the community. We can help you set that up. If you don't want to do a custom ad, if you're thinking to yourself right now, Luke, I have no time to do any of this. There are tons of different templates in there. We create new ones all the time that you can choose from in your account interface. You can go and you can choose from tons of different templates that will enhance just you know, choose one of the give back type templates we have. Choose one of the templates that talks about, you know, DIY tips. Choose one of the templates that is a thank you for the referrals from your clients. You can choose these templates to make it really easy for you, but take advantage of that. Let's move on to the front cover because I think one of the most powerful things you can do on the front cover is to humanize yourself for the holiday issue. Imagine putting a family photo here. Imagine if you don't have a family, but you have dogs. So my wife and I don't have any kids, but we have two dogs, Bilbo and Nora. My wife's a Lord of the Rings fan, so we named our first dog Bilbo. But imagine we put a picture with my wife and I and our two dogs. What this does is it naturally, as Tony Robbins teaches, it builds rapport because you connect with the people in your database that you're sending to that have camaraderie in that area. Because when you showcase that you're Luke the real estate agent, that, but you're not just Luke the real estate agent, you're Luke that has two dogs and a wife, it builds that camaraderie, it builds that humanizing, or it humanizes you to build that trust that you're looking for. Remember, it's all about getting them to know you, so you send this to them, getting them to like you because you're giving them valuable content that's not just sales stuff, that's not just about you, and it's getting them to really connect with you and trust you as not just the real estate professional, but as a human being. So you're doing things like giving back to the community, showing casing that you actually have a family, that you're a family person, that you have animals. Those type of things are really powerful. And I know that might sound corny, but it's really, really powerful. This is simple to do. Snap a picture of you and your family with your iPhone. Upload it to our portal. We will Photoshop, clean it all up for you to make sure it's print quality. We will put it on your next magazine. And I would encourage you to use that as a way to connect with your clients this holiday season that shows them that, hey, this is a gift to you. It's not just a sales gimmick, it's a gift to you. Utilize the photo on the front cover to do that. Let's go to the inside front letter because I'm gonna have to speed this up. I'm getting passionate about this and I, always, I already realized, man, we're way into this webinar. I gotta speed this up. Front letter, so many people don't realize, this is customizable down to the individual. So you can literally write Luke and Megan a personal note. Here's where people get tripped up. When they hear it's personalized down to the individual, they think, oh my goodness, I have 120 people in there. I can't write 120 letters. That's not what I'm telling you to do. Pick two, three, four, five. Write five letters. 
right to the specific people that are, remember what I said the National Association of Realtors said? 37% in your database will be the influencers, the chatty Cathy's, the people who will refer you three plus times. Write a personal letter to them. Find out who they are so you can write a personal letter to them and have impact with them that's either even greater. Use this as a way. I think, you know, I love this growing up. You know how people would send you letters to update them on what happened to them for the year? Perfect opportunity. If you have kids, talk about how Bobby graduated from high school. It's great. It's great to connect yourself with your database of clients in a way that's more personal about the relationship because the relationship leads to referrals. You could do something fun like one of our clients, this was their take on the night before Christmas. So you could do something fun in there to where you could write something funny, but you can utilize this inside letter to write personal letters to your clients personal letters to your prospects so you know you can enhance it if you're doing open houses personal letters to your open house if you're going to a farm festival so growing up in fluvanna county virginia in the middle of nowhere there was a big old farm day is what it was called and thousands of people showed up to this event this festival Imagine getting some promotional copies where we send them to you and you're able to hand this out. This is like a business card to you. You go to your Christmas party, you hand this out, but you write the inside letter a little differently so when they're reading it, they know why you're giving it to them. It makes more sense than if you're just doing a generic letter. Okay, you can also customize your digital edition. So in the digital edition, it's interactive, right? So you can customize the inside front letter, but what a lot of our clients are doing is instead of writing a letter, you can actually put a video in there. So you could pull up your phone, you shoot a video to your clients thanking them, hey, it's been an amazing year. What, maybe you point out something in the magazine that you loved. Hey, I want you to check out the recipe on page you know, eight of this magazine. It's awesome, use it for your Thanksgiving party, use it for your holiday party. Film that video on your phone, upload it to YouTube, then we'll put it in the magazine for you. And we can show you how to do that. If you get on the phone with your marketing coach, they'll walk you through how to do it. So you can have a video in your digital edition. Utilize the digital edition through text message. So when you're sending a text to somebody, it doesn't come across as an ugly link. You're actually able to send the digital edition and it comes across actually as a picture. So it's not something like it's spam and 98% of text messages are seen. So 98% of the chance, you have a 98% chance to be seen with that text message. It's really easy to do, especially if you remember at the beginning of the webinar for your mailing list, your old forgotten leads, just spend two, you know, two minutes a day for five leads, send them the digital edition, say thinking about you this holiday season, check out one of these recipes, I thought you would love it. And you just do that every day, you do it to five people, and you're hitting all your old leads with something really nice and valuable that you know 98% of those old leads will at least see it and open it up to see what it is. Okay, you can also use our social media. So in the account interface, you have something called social shares. A lot of people, you know, they don't recognize this when they first get in because they're in the context of setting up their magazine. We give you all of our content that we've created. We have putting it into bite-sized chunks that you can share across your Facebook, your Pinterest, your LinkedIn, your Twitter. And you, the, the cool thing about this is you can find things that are relevant to your client base. And what I've found over the years of doing this now, as, as Facebook has changed its algorithms, what's really powerful about this is if you think of clients specifically, like using my wife, Megan, for example, think about her. If you know that she loves cooking and that she's a vegetarian, find a vegetarian recipe, go to her wall on Facebook and say, Megan was thinking about you today, saw this vegetarian recipe, thought you might think it's cool, thought you might like it. Put that on her wall. Super easy to do. And if you do something like that every single day, that's what builds this cumulative effect of generating this buzz and this reciprocity for them to give back. You can also do things like last year, we had a bunch of agents do like a countdown to Christmas on their social media using our content. There's tons of stuff in that social media library that has to do with like appetizers for parties. So when you're gonna go to a party, you can utilize that recipe on the social media. And then at the party, you can tell people, yeah, hey, I can send you the recipe if you like it, right? So it's a way for you to connect even after that party. All right, so let's move on to leveraging your magazine. The statement I'll make is, as I've done this for years now, and I look at the producers that are generating tons of ROI, 
and I look at the people who they're, it's helping them, but they're not getting what they really want out of it. The real difference I see is a mindset of passivity or passive and a mindset of proactive. Passive is you just send stuff out to your database and you never follow up, you never leverage it, you never talk to your clients about it. And though it's good because you're building mindshare, you're not control of the ball. Like in basketball, you're giving the basketball away and you're not in control. You want to be in the offensive position. That's where leveraging your magazine comes in. And so the first way you can leverage your magazine is through promotional copy. So I want to give a question on the screen right here. So Maggie, if you can go ahead and put that question on the screen. Are you throwing a holiday party or have you ever thrown a holiday party for your clients? Have you ever done that for your clients over the past years? Go ahead and answer that question real quick. I'm going to take a swig of water. All right, so what is our answer? So 61% say no, 39% say yes. So even if you haven't thrown a, a holiday party for your clients, which I think is a great idea, it's a little intensive and scary for people, but I think it's a really, really good client appreciation thing to do, especially for your bullseye of clients, your, your core advocates, your referral people to do a holiday party for them, but you're probably gonna go to a holiday party. And what you want to do is make sure you take your magazine with you. And the idea here is how do you take a magazine to a, ho a holiday party and not be salesy? The easy way to do that is to set it up to where you're taking and making one of the recipes. So maybe it's a Christmas cookie recipe. Maybe it's a pie. Maybe it's an appetizer for actual dinner. Make the recipe from the magazine. Take the magazines with you because now it's a gift. It's, hey, thought you guys, hey, if you like the recipe, if you like the cookies, you guys can have the recipe. It's in my magazine. And it's a simple way for you to be able to give them the magazine and then also go, oh, this is something that I actually send my clients. So, you know, most of these people are going to know you're a real estate agent, financial advisor, whatever you're doing because you're at a holiday party with them. But this is something that I do for my clients. If you would love to receive it, you know, I'd love to send it to you. What's your address? Easy way to collect their address information. If you don't want to spend this type of money on them, you can do that for the digital edition and collect their email address. Utilize your magazine and your promotional copies when you're doing the farm festivals too, when you're going to that old farm day, when you're going to that community event, when you're giving back to the community, utilize your magazine. How do you do that? Feature the nonprofit in your magazine. So that now when you go help, you can give out the magazine, which is also supporting the nonprofit, so it makes natural sense. When you utilize your promotional copies, go to the local businesses that you featured in the magazine that you've partnered with. Make sure they have copies to give out. So if you partner, like we had someone partner with a Mercedes dealership. If you partner with someone with a Mercedes dealership, make sure they have some magazines. Go to them, talk to their sales reps, talk to their owner there. Every Mercedes they sell, make sure they're giving out one of the magazines to those people and collecting the information that this person wants to receive it on and be on your list. Next, which is actually the most critical, and this is where you're going to get the most bang for your buck and get the most return on investment. So come back to me, if, if I'm losing you here, come back to me. This is what will get you return on investment. Follow up to your magazine with a simple phone call, or if you're a fan of Brian Buffini, do a simple pop by. It's really, really easy. Here's how the phone call goes. You call Luke up, maybe Luke and Megan, maybe you get Megan on the phone, right? And you call up and say, hey Megan, was checking in. Hey, reason for my calls. I actually just got my latest issue of American Lifestyle Magazine. It made me think of you and Luke. I remember I have you guys on the list receiving it. Want to make sure you got it. Use something in the magazine, whether it's a customization that you did. So let's say it's a nonprofit you featured. Hey, Megan, wanted to point out for you, hey, one of the things I'm doing this holiday season is I'm trying to support Phil Abundance and want to let you guys know I actually have that in my magazine there as a way to give back. So if you and Luke are interested, you know, would love for you guys to support Phil Abundance. It means a lot to me and I'm trying to give back. At that point, you do, you, you listen to how they respond. You have a normal conversation. If you're nervous, if you don't know what to talk about, remember this statement, Ford. The Ford method is an unbelievable way to have a conversation with anybody. It talk about family, occupation, recreation, dreams. Have a conversation around the magazine. You know, what's going on with your family this year, Luke and Megan? Hey, what's going on with Luke's job? How's everything going at Reminder Media? Hey, what do you guys have planned? Do you guys have any big trips coming up? Do you have any big things happening in your life? And then 
focus the conversation at that point to turn it into a way to find out if there's any way you can provide value for them. That would go like this. Megan, love being you and Luke's real estate agent. Just wanted to thank you again for giving me the opportunity to be you guys' real estate agent. Maybe if you sold them a home this year to help you find your dream home this year. You know, I have a lofty goal for myself as I head into 2020. I'm really trying to help X number of families find their dream home. I was wondering, as I thought about that, I kept thinking of you and Megan, or I kept thinking of you and Luke, Megan, and you guys are the type of clients I want more of. You guys are the type of families I want to work with. Do you know anybody that I could reach out to, that I could maybe send this magazine to, to introduce myself, that might be looking for a real estate agent, that might need help with investments, that might need help with buying, that might need help with selling? The average person is going to know two people. The 37% are going to refer you three plus times. If you do that to your mailing list, I'm going to use a cliche here, but every agent that I work with that does that, every blind squirrel finds a nut. Everybody uncovers gold in their database by simply leveraging a Trojan horse that goes, just checking in, seeing how you're doing. You should try this recipe in the magazine. It's actually my family's recipe. You should support this nonprofit. I love it. I want to point it out to you. Hey, you're in the magazine. I wanted to point that out. I actually did a collage of all my clients to thank them this year. I actually put your picture in the magazine. Utilize it as your reason to call. Switch the conversation to, hey, I have a lofty goal for my business this year. People want to be a part of your journey. You know, as I think about the people I want to work with, you and Megan kept coming into my mind. I want more families like you. I want more clients like you. You know, birds of a feather flock together. And I was wondering if there's anybody you know that I could reach out to, that I could send this magazine to to introduce myself, that I might be able to build a relationship with them to help them with their real estate needs. As you do that consistently, what does that look like in your day? It doesn't look like 50 calls in one day. It looks like one or two, three calls a day, something easy to do that every single person on this webinar can do. That's what it looks like. And when you do that over the course of a month, you've done that over the course of 30 days. You've done it over the course of 31 days and you're reaching out to 60, 70 people and you're going to find a referral. You're going to find somebody that's going to connect you to where you actually now can nurture that lead and turn that lead into a closed commission for you. Last but not least, is leveraging your magazine if you throw a holiday party. So I know 67% of you said no, but if you do, you can leverage your magazine to really do your holiday party, but not just your magazine. We have so many resources on our resource page in your interface. This is something newer that we launched recently. There's a whole resource tab that gives you, there's like pop-up you know, cards that you can use. I think there's, in, correct me if I'm wrong, Maggie, but I think there's decoration stuff you can use for your, your get-togethers. There's things that you can use in that resource tab to actually help you throw the holiday party and it's all themed around your magazine. And this is the natural party favor for you to give out as people are leaving. So all of my adventurous people, throw a client appreciation dinner. Throw a client appreciation get together, even if it's a happy hour. One of the greatest things that I heard recently was one of the top producers that we interviewed on the podcast, he used a hotel. And he said it was so easy because the hotel, he would do a sponsored happy hour and he would invite a bunch of his top clients over for this happy hour. The hotel would prepare all the, the drinks, would prepare the food. All he had to do was just show up, pay the bill, mingle with his clients, have a great time, hand out your magazine at that moment when everybody's leaving and everything's done. Super easy to do easy way to mingle with all of your top clients. You're not going to do this for your whole database, but you do it for your bullseye of clients, your advocates that you really want to focus on. So for all of my adventurous people, host a client appreciation event, utilize all our resources to help you throw that event. I want to remind you guys of the ROI that we're seeing. And if you're not seeing this, what I want to point out to you is this is what's available for you. Tap into this, tap into your coaches, because the, we, again, we use GFK. We're trying to measure ourselves every single day. What can you see from an average return on investment? If you're sending this to 50 people, we're seeing an average referral rate of 38%. 
38% for 50 people would be 19 referrals. Now, I don't know your average commission price. I don't, or average commission you get, your average sale price. Using 200,000 and a 3% commission, you're looking at $6,000 in GCI. If you can close just 50% of those 19 referrals, that's about nine new clients for you. That's $57,000 right there in that roadmap that you have in front of you. But where I see this come to fruition for my clients is when you leverage the magazine. I, I go back to, I think it was 47% of you said you never reached out to a client that you sent the magazine to. That's your action item from this. Reach out to those people, the 50 on your list, the 60 on your list, this holiday season, just to thank them. Just to say, hey, wanted to tell you I appreciate you. I'm sending this magazine to you. And then turn that conversation, like I said, that's where you're going to get this 38%. That's where it's going to really turn into this ROI for you. But I also want to point out to you from a repeat business standpoint, because that's the referral side. On the repeat business side, think about it this way. If you're spending $3.99 on your client that you're sending this to, that's $24 a year. If the average client is moving every five years, you're going to spend $120 on them. I mean, double that. If they moved every 10 years, you're going to spend $240 on them over the course of the 10 years. If you sell a home and their next home for them for $200,000, that's 3% commission, $6,000 in GCI, you're looking at $5,875 or $5,675, whatever it is, depending on how long you've sent it to them. I want to point out that math to you because a lot of times what happens to us is we get so instant gratification that we don't realize that we're in a relationship game. We're nurturing these people. And the truth is if you invest in a stock today for $120 for in five years for it to be $5,875 would be an incredible return, let alone the 38% of referrals that you can get out of that same database. The reason why I share these roadmaps with you this is my heart and passion. This is what really matters. Not how pretty the magazine is, not how well you can customize it, but ultimately how well you can utilize this tool as a way to strengthen your relationships, to get referrals, to get repeat business. And I want to help you do that. I want to help you do that by customizing it the right way and teaching you how to do the follow-up. Every one of you, if you call in today, you have a coach assigned to you. And your coach on the marketing services side is there to help you customize the magazine, but they're there more importantly to help you in making sure you're doing your outreach. You're asking for the referrals. They'll give you scripts. We have scripts in the interface that you can use if you're not sure what to say when you make those phone calls. So that's my encouragement to you that that's the potential out there for you just at an average home sale price of $200,000. Some of you are selling $400,000 homes, $500,000 homes. You get the point. The potential potential is unbelievable. So for all our customers who are on this, I just want to encourage you to add your friends and family, to add maybe some of your clients that you, had, you sold a home to this year that you haven't connected with since you sold them the home six months ago. Put them on your list up to 20. I will pay for half of them for the next mailing for you guys. So it will cost you half of sending them magazine. And think about it this way, a Hallmark card, $6 at Walmart. Maybe five ninety five, I think, is the one I looked at the other day. Five ninety five. That doesn't include postage. You haven't written the letter yet. All the time, you got to put the stamp on it, take it to the mailbox. You literally can add your family to the list, and it's three dollars and ninety nine cents right now to send this magazine delivered, postage included, and I'll pay for half of that for your next mailing because I just want to encourage you to utilize it for the for the holidays because I know there's power there. If you don't use our program at all, so you're not a customer right now, but you're like, hey, I'd try this for the holidays, um, you know, I'll pay for 15 free of your magazines that you go out. So minimum is 50 um, that you have to send. So I'll give 15 free on top of that for you. You can use those 15 in the high traffic areas like we just talked about. You could use the 15 to send to people, however you want to use those. Just to encourage you, you know, I heard a statement one time that, you know, it was actually a partner company, White Glove that I love, I love these guys. They talked about they want to reward action takers. And they said that at the end of one of their webinars and that really struck with me and that's what I want to do. Like I want to reward action takers. I want to reward people for taking action and doing that by giving something of value guys to you, let alone all the information that we've given. Really want to encourage all of you. I have seen this 
so often that you listen to a webinar like this. You just spend an hour and a half of your time, hour, 15 minutes, however long we've been on this. And here's the critical moment. How many of these tips will you put into action? How many of them? You're not going to get to all of them. No, none of us probably would. But you can take one. Take one of the tips. Commit to going, hey, I'm going to call the 50 people that I send the magazine to this holiday season. Hey, I'm going to commit to texting two people a day with the digital edition and tell them, hey, thinking of you, you know, just got my digital edition, thought you would enjoy it. Commit to something that you can take action on so you can see the fruits of your labor. And remember, you play four quarters in this life, four 90-day cycles. How you play this next 90-day cycle will be a direct impact of the results you have in the first of the year. If you try to try to fix the first of the year when you're in the first of the year, it's insanely difficult and almost sometimes not impossible because you got to play consistently in the 90 days. We want to help you. That's what my passion is. I want to get you guys to change your customization. I want to get you to use your family photo on the holiday issue. I want you to write a personal letter at least to one person. I want you to utilize these things and help let us help you do that really appreciate you guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope you got a ton of value out of this remember this is recorded all the slides are going to go out to you tons of more questions we'll try to get to those with the coaches really appreciate it and i hope you guys have a great day i'll close with this the difference between a top producer and mediocre producer guess what top producers take action so take action today on what you've heard today make it a great day and look forward to our next webinar thank you guys